Did they even have range finders back then? No range finders. I bought the first one I'd ever seen. It was a Bushnell, and I still work with Bushnell. The thing looked like a car battery. Was like, <laughs> I mean, it literally, you know, I had safety straps. I had, like, chains. I like one strongest man contest to hold this thing up. But uh, they had the little ones you could roll, and, and it even tell you when the temperature changes, it's going to give you inaccurate. It's going to change with the weather. Uh, but, no, it was... You know, just guessing. But uh, was it a laser range finder? It was a, the 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 first ones was like a roller. You rolled two things. I forget how exactly it worked, but it come and it gave you basically a, a rough estimate. A rough estimate, and it'd be like forty two yard, forty yards. And then Bushnell, to my knowledge, come out with one. It was a bigger one. It looked, like I said, it kind of looked like a small battery. It was big, and it had a laser on it, and you could range it, and it gave you, you know, the yardage. And, and obviously, it wasn't angle compensating it didn't have any of the arc the yeah. angle range compensation had any of that and the first person i ever saw that even talked about that was chuck adams i was videoing with him back in those tnn days and and chuck, we should explain to people yeah. like the angle compensation is like an arrow uh is quicker going downhill so if you're shooting uphill or downhill the yeah. angle you have to g gauge how fast the arrow is going to go the feet per second based on the angle so if it might look like it's 50 yards as the crow flies yeah. your your range finder might say 42 correct and you got to put your range you got to put your sight at 42 yards otherwise it'll shoot right over its back 